Emily Carr was an outstanding woman of her time. She was an artist that decided to paint Canadian landscapes and Aboriginal culture, so she was very patriotic. And she did this in a time where it was not expected of women to become artists. They were just simply expected to grow up, get married, and raise families of their own. And so the fact that she decided to take her life into her own hands and pursue her dreams is inspiring. In my opinion, I think Emily Carr would say to young women today is to always persevere and always try your best because in the time that she was living in, it was very frowned upon being an artist because it wasn't expected of her. So by her going against what people say, she was able to accomplish her dreams. So I think she would tell people today to follow their dreams and like regardless of what other people would say. We're actually one of the very few schools that have a females only construction class. Um, and I think this directly correlates with Emily Carr because she was pushing gender stereotypes and typically construction is seen as a predominantly male occupation. Um, so having a females only class really encourages other females who, are might, who might be interested in that career to actually have a path to be able to explore their desires and their passions. And also having a girls only class, or a girls only environment that really encourages people and it gives them the confidence that they need to go into that career and really put their 110% into what they're doing because that's what they can focus on, they're comfortable and that's what they're going to do. For a certain point in time, women didn't have all the rights that we do today. So acknowledging like what we've done to overcome that and get past it, I think it's just we need to honor that. There are multiple women in history that have inspired me, not just as an individual, as a student, as a woman of today, or an emerging woman of the future. Uh, for example, uh, Nellie McClung, she helped us get the right of being persons. Um, Harriet Tubman, helping thousands of slaves escape through the Underground Railroad. Uh, Anne Frank, Mary Curie for her science. Um, Queen Elizabeth I, Rosa Parks, Amelia Earhart, the list is endless. I think building up our youth today is important, not only our young women, um, but building up our youth by having them look at people in history who've contributed to uh, not only history but our country and to see important role models in our world to inspire them, uh, to see what has come before them in order to help them to achieve their goals. I think that it's important to acknowledge Women's History Month because throughout history women haven't always gotten the recognition they deserve but we wouldn't be nearly as far as we are if we didn't have women so I think it's really important to look back and reflect on how much they have done for society. There's so many contributions they've put in. There's so many people like Malala for example. She was shot in the head for standing up for a, a women's education and that was unfortunate but she survived and she made a big impact and she wanted to make a difference, she wanted to fight for her right. And that's why I think it's very important that we acknowledge Women's History Month so we know what women have done for us and what change they've made in history for us to be here today. I think for women, we've seen in the last two or four years uh, that they ha sometimes have their own specific struggles that they deal with. And so addressing those struggles and trying to make it more of an even playing field is really important. It's important to recognize Women's History Month because it's a great way of recognizing how far we've come in our society and how hard women have fought to ensure that our rights are recognized and our voices are heard. As well, it serves as a reminder that we have come a long way, but we still have quite a bit to do.